Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great week. So, you know, I've been struggling the past few days and it's a constant struggle because I always know, you know, the answer, <laughs> but I, I still, I'm wired to, to worry. <laughs> and, um, it, it doesn't work. You know, worrying just doesn't work. We've got, I've got through my prayers being answered, I ended up booking two big gigs of my game shows this week. And it couldn't be like a crazier week for it to happen because uh, I'm getting ready to go to, on a safari to Africa, which that'll be a whole other story. And then trying to get Liam squared away with his school. On top of that, I've got these two big game shows that I'm trying to put up and make sure that they go. And I've done these game shows before, and I know these game shows. And and actually, I'm in pretty good shape as far as the game shows go. Why am I worrying? And I think it, it comes down to, I mean, well, it definitely comes down to fear. Because, you know, at the root of worry is always fear. And, um, you know, what am I worried about? What am I fearful of? Well, if I'm going to break it down, you know, you got to face, face, find it, name it to be able to be free of it. So find it, name it, free it. So find it. What's the fear? Well, I'm fearful that uh, the, the game shows aren't going to go over well. And then that's my fear. My fear is I'm fearful that the game shows aren't going to go over well. And here's how I'm going to free it. <laughs> this is, this is the, the way to free your fear of failure. It's basically a fear of failure. Naming it as fear of failure. So fear of failure. How am I going to free it? Well, what happens if the show doesn't go well? So what? So what? It's not the end of the world. I tried my best. That's all I can do. I know. I know I can do it. How, you know, sometimes circumstances may be out of my control. I know how to handle those as well. I've, I've been performing for a long time. I know my stuff. I just got to believe in myself. And if it doesn't go as I would hope or want or to my expectations, so what? It's okay. There's bigger problems in the world. So those two words are so freeing. Anytime you're facing fear of failure, just say to yourself, what's the worst that can happen if this doesn't go how I would like it to go? So what? So what? You know, you're in good company. I mean, look at look at the history of people who had faced failure. I mean, big failure. Like, look at Steve Jobs. For God's sake, he lost his company that he started and founded. And then he went on and he took that failure and, and yeah, he licked his wounds and he was upset. Any, any normal person would. He wasn't a superhuman, but he found another outlet and he found another avenue. And thanks to that, he, he funded Pixar, which, by the way, Pixar, which is this amazing company that's breaking, all, you know, uh, amazing movies and just one of the most profitable and innovative entertainment companies came about because of two people, big, two big players, John Lasseter and Steve Jobs. And John Lasseter, he was an animator at Disney with big ideas. And it, they were a little too big for Disney. In fact, he did this, this big project that he was working on and super excited about. And the big wigs got in there to see it and they hated it. And they fired him on the spot, on the spot. It's like the worst nightmare. And yeah, was he upset? Oh, yeah. But he licked his wounds. He picked himself up and he got going again. And, you know, as fate had it, Pixar kind of came about through, you know, the failures of these innovators. So, you know, if you fail, you're in good company. But so what? So what? You know, it's not the end of the world. So are you facing, are you facing any fears today? Are you worried about something? Well, you know, name it, find it, name it, free it. You know, take a look, face that fear. What, what is, what is it that mm, is going on inside you? Name it. Okay. Oh, it's fear of failure. Okay. And then free it. And lots of times freeing it is just like, so what? 
Serenity prayer also works great. You know, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You know? So I hope if you're full of fear today or you're got a worry that's eating at you, don't let it eat at you. If, uh, very simply just say, so what? So what? No big deal. All right. That's my Monday message for you. I will be talking to you on Thursday because that is a big day for me. That's my 26 year anniversary Woo! for um, being sober. So I'm, I'm, I always like to give a message on my anniversary of hope to those out there who are still suffering. So stay tuned for Thursday's message. And I hope you have a great week. If you're enjoying these, subscribe wherever that little button is. And I will see you in a couple of weeks, well, Thursday for sure, and then in a couple of weeks after that, because we're going to be heading off on our safari, which stay tuned for more on that. All right. Bye.